Hi. So I don't know about you guys, but whenever a car stops to let me cross the road, I get all... Oh no. The pressure. But there is all this pressure now, right? I feel like it's the unspoken law that if a car stops for you to cross, you can no longer just cross the road at a normal pace. I feel like the driver wants to see some sort of effort from you. Because I know that when the situation is reversed and I'm the driver... You can pass. Yeah. Because I'm really nice. Go on. All good. And then I see this person just walking normally. I get irrationally angry. No. Hey. When people let you pass, yeah, get faster, lift up them legs. I don't know what I've been told. You walking slow is getting old. Well, I'm not that bad, but I do become this massive asshole. And even though they're just walking normally, I feel like they're taking ages and everything is in slow-mo and they're mocking me. And I feel like I'm aging with every passing second. What a mistake. And it's awful, right? Because obviously some hideous part of me feels that, you know, because I, King Natalie, have let you pass in front of me, you should show me some effort. Yeah, it's not like I do this with any other act of kindness. Oh, hey, I poured you some water. Ah, oh, thanks. Is that it? I want to see you appreciate it. Drink it more. Uh, okay. Mmm. More. Appreciate it more. Mmm. Mmm. You're loving that water. You're so grateful that I poured it. Now drink it and go like this. <sighs> Better. And under normal circumstances, if somebody does something nice for me, I'm very grateful. <gasps> wow. You got me chocolates that are so nice that they come with a book that tells you what chocolate is what. You are the fanciest person that I know. But if some good Samaritan stops their car so that I can cross the road, yeah, I get really angry at them because of the pressure, the imaginary pressure that they've put on me. I guess in my head I feel that if they hadn't stopped the car, I would be crossing the road and really enjoying the pace that I would normally cross the road at. But now there is all this imaginary stress on my shoulders, yeah. I think the problem is that I either think too much or I think too little. I don't know, it's a constant battle picking between. But let me know in the comments below, how do you guys think this should, you know, this scenario should play out. Do you think that the pedestrian can just continue to walk at a leisurely pace? Also, if you haven't seen them, I mentioned I have to do a couple of shout outs, but please check out some of my Samsung Galaxy tutorials that I made last year. I know a lot of you probably wouldn't trust me telling you how to do things, and that's okay, because I'm asking you how to drive a car and how to cross a road when it should come naturally. But anyway, sorry this video is a little bit late, but I am already working on the next one, which will be up in a couple of days. Don't believe me? That's okay. I don't believe me either. Hope you guys are well, and I'll see you soon. Bye. This is my actual height in the car. I had to sit on a book so that you could see me. Okay, it's funny music slash comment time and I had so many of you send me screenshots of watching my video while your battery was on its last legs. You guys are insane living on the wild side, rebels without a pause. Did you like that pun? It's okay, I'm happy to lose respect points. And guys, the Pringles were in the fridge because I was in a hotel. It was in the minibar. And when you open up a hotel minibar, it's full of crazy stuff that only makes sense to rich people, like cold Pringles and tiny bottles of alcohol. And yeah... If you never thought you were going to see elbow porn, I'll tell you something someone once taught me. If you've thought about it, there's porn about it.